Well, yes, I am with Emmanuel Bancole, a.k.a. Neil Art. Hello, Emmanuel. Thank you for joining us on The Morning Show. Uh, thank you so much for having me on this show. Really appreciate the time. Yes, Emmanuel, I mean, it's great to have you. And um, you are an artist, a yeah. mixed media collage artist. And now, just quickly, how did you get into this journey? Uh, it's kind of, you know, I would say it's a very long journey. Yes. Although I started when I was very little. Uh, so, but then I didn't really take art seriously until recently, around maybe 2016 or 17, that was when I really started. Mm -hmm. I won't say as a professional, but I took it seriously then. Mm -hmm. So from there, I started discovering more of my abilities. I moved from pencil to the normal painting on canvas, mm -hmm. then to mixed media. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now your art, it seems to have this Ankara fabric on it and promoting the culture. I can see a lot of that on it. Different from other mixed media that has that do broken bottles, um, um, scraps and the likes, you know, metal scraps and the likes. So why did you decide to go for that fabric? Is that why? The fabric of a thing is actually, it came to me in the form of an inspiration okay. when I saw someone do something similar. Mm -hmm. Then when I decided to take it up, I got to notice that there was actually someone that, that is into it too. Mm -hmm. So I looked for a way to make mine different. It was then I started, you know, working on it over time till I got to the extent of which I could use 100% fabric for my hat. Mm -hmm. Now, how long does it take you to get this artwork ready? When you look at it, some of it looks so beautiful and massive. Thank you. Thank <laughs> how you. long does it take? In hours and days? How long? Uh, for, um, if I calculate it in hours, it takes, some might take up to 10, some 26 yes. hours and but you know, in between, I have to take breaks because mm -hmm. my mental health is also very important to me. Mm -hmm. There are some times that you just know what to do again, and then I just have to pause. So probably some I take up to a week, mm. some two, mm. depending on how I feel inspired to really work on it. And I noticed that they are very meticulous. I mean, you are meticulous. If you look at it um, in a, uh, properly, you can see the way you you some the the fabrics are different. Sometimes you're using some like red, some yellow, but at the same time, it all comes together so beautiful and then you can see there's a message now tell us a bit about the message um behind some of these artworks what are those special ones to you and what message were you trying to pass across every of my heart is special to me and when you said something about um, bringing the fabrics together mm. i make it of different pieces of fabrics i just decided to like talk about that as mm. first before i dive into the other one okay. so it's just about understanding colors so once I get my colors right, then I start working on it. So that's how, with the grace of God, let me put it out with us, I've been able to like join everything together mm. to make it as a whole. Then when it comes to messages, I preach more of like self-identity and mm. knowing more about God, who mm. God truly is and not what people think mm. he is. Mm -hmm. So that's what I talk about most when it comes to my heart. Mm. Now talking about that, I mean, you also look at um, your work as a, as a Christian and you express your faith because you've seen some artworks that look very funny because of who is putting them out there. So of course that has a role to play about who is putting out that artwork, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, how has your work been, the appreciation of your work? What has it been like? Most people that come in contact with my artworks, they mostly talk about how exceptional it is, how phenomenal it is. And I just, and I couldn't just stop like, thinking of how it came into being at first because everything just came like, <laughs> like I said at first, inspiration. So which I attribute to God most especially because I couldn't think of this at first at all. Mm. So it just came like that. I can't even trace the origin, mm. but it just came like that. And I'm really happy that people get to like it. Most people get to like it. Mm. Even though some are still having issues with it because it's kind of rare, they, mm -hmm. they've not really seen more of it. But most people that come in contact with it, they talk about how exceptional it is. Mm -hmm. Who are those um, artists that you say inspire your art? Many artists inspire my okay. artworks. Mm -hmm. But um, my boss that actually trained me inspires me a lot because I've been to his studio, I've seen the way he works. And, you know, my friend, anytime I'm down and I just feel like I'm not doing this art of a thing again, like I just want to relax. Because due to one frustration or the other, you know, mm -hmm. that we get, as an artist, I get mm -hmm. to experience sometimes. That's when he will just start doing his own artworks. He does, you know, start posting everything online mm -hmm. so that I could see them. He knows that once I, I get to see them, I'll be inspired. Mm -hmm. So my friend really assisted me too in getting my inspiration and then go to the main factor. Mm -hmm. there. He also helped me a lot to just, through his words, 
to make me believe that, okay, this is what I'm actually supposed to do and I'm in line. So just mm. continue and then with time, mm. you'll get all the things you actually need. Mm. And seeing art as a form of therapy is very, it's very important. Very, very, in fact, that's the highest form of therapy for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are there any exhibitions that you have had or plan to have? Um, planning to have. Let okay. me just put it that way. Okay. So once I get everything ready, then... Mm. What would be the theme of, of that exhibition, if I may ask? China, um, it will, I would love to title the journey towards self-discovery okay. because okay. the artwork, my, most of my artworks have to do with self-discovery. Now let's talk about two of your artworks in particular okay. that are really catching. Everyone is special, but I just want you to quickly tell us the message behind them. The one of the lady being blindfolded okay. and the other lady like wearing like, like a samurai or something. <laughs> okay, um, concerning the lady that is being blindfolded, it has to do with creation at first like, and the will of God towards creation. The will of God towards creation is actually for us to interact freely with him on our own will, mm -hmm. not being forced to do it. So the blindfold, like the blindfold on the um, lady's face actually talks about human not having the knowledge of good at, and evil at first. Mm -hmm. But when they began, like when they heard and then they were being sent out of the Garden of Eden, um, which was after they heard the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, mm -hmm. that was when they were able to know the difference between good and evil and how to really trace their steps back through Christ. Mm, wow, that so that's what it talks about. And the second one? And the second one is about self-discovery. It has to do with you getting to know at first that you are the only one that have control over your life, how you really live your life. So if you're able to understand that, you'll be very, you'll be very considerate on things you have to do and you'll be very concerned about how you have to go about everything you want to do in life. So it will help you to focus more on what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to. So there won't be any form of distraction. Mm. So to recap all those, it's just like getting to know that you, you are the only one that can change your life positively mm. or negatively. Mm. So the more you get to know that, the more you get to live your life the way you're supposed to. Wow, I love the message that you are passing across with your art. Thank it is you. so beautiful. It is, you know, it's something that at this time the world definitely needs with all that is going on in the world at this time. Uh, but do you have uh, plans for, you know, with what is going on, you know, some in different parts of the world? Do, do you see your art, you know, depicting the future that you want to see? You know, if people get to understand their purpose, if we get to understand themselves, then they'll be able to live rightly they'll be able to live the right way. Mm. So if the message can get across to a wider audience, then we won't, I'll, there won't be any reason for me to really talk about what I expect in the future, mm. because almost everyone will know about it. Mm. And then they'll be living right, the right way they're supposed the right to. The right way, I like that, I like that. Okay, now before you know, let you go, I know that this, um, this medium that you use as a form of expression has been beautiful and like you said your exhibitions are coming in yeah, very soon grace. by god's grace we hope to attend that's when it does happen which will be hap hap happening very fast uh, but apart from these other uh, stuff that you do you do portraitures as well yeah. for people because yeah, you say you started from pencil on canvas uh, pencil on paper on yeah. paper yeah, pencil yeah. on paper we're seeing some of that right now Okay, now, mm -hmm. thank you so much, you know, yeah, for really coming on the morning show and, um, of course, filling us in on what you do. But you have a message, you know, for um, young artists. There's some, I've, sp I've spoken to several, I've seen several, and, you know, the journey, like you said, can be uh, tough sometimes, very, very but you just sometimes. keep going. <laughs> what message do you have for them? Uh, first, I, I would li like to talk about the fact that I'm also a young artist. Yes, <laughs> so. you are, that's right. I know you have a message for <laughs> so, them. So, uh, um, the thing is just that generally, I'll just say, just go for what you really think mm. you're created to go for. Mm. And you can be able to discover that if you really find what you're really passionate about mm. and your talent. So once you combine both together, you know what you're supposed to do. So if you find out that art is a line, then go for it fully. Fully. Well, thank you so much. Thank really you so appreciate. much, Emmanuel Bankale, for joining us on the morning show. Thank you very much. And that's so Emmanuel <laughs> Bankale, the owner of Mio Art, you know, talking about his artworks. And I'm sure you see some for yourself right now. Stay with us.